What's up everybody, Jen here. Today I have a very, sp actually not even special, I don't know why I was going to say very special episode. Today, i got an online rank match. We're taking on the Washington Redskins in RG3 with the New York Jets. And of course, I'm going to be substituting Mark Sanchez with Geno Smith. So, let's get the game started. I lose a toss. My turn, McKnight with the kick return. And you know, I'm trying to get things going here. It's my uh, second time playing with the uh, New York Jets. You know, this is my first time ever playing with the New York Jets online, though. And I will say that they are not too bad. Overall, they're average. They're not the best in passing or running. But they can get the job done if you play right. And here we go. I got the slant route. I'm doing okay. I'm not bad. I got Geno Smith, so I know I can scramble. And I see one-on-one -on, -one on the outside. Unfortunately, Geno Smith does not got an arm, and he kind of underthrows that. So... You know, I'm still trying to get the groove. You know, I'm trying to te I'm testing uh, Gino. You know, rookie. He's supposed to be the up and coming rookie for the New York Jets. That's supposed to make a difference. You know, uh, he won the starting job against Mark Sanchez since he got he had a soldier, uh, shoulder injury. And here I go, man. Um, I'm trying to get things going. I see Goodson on the outside. You know, I dump it off from the backfield, and we're 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 chugging along. We're moving the ball. 0-0 zero, zero first quarter and look at that it's I'm at one minute left I keep it with Geno Smith on the read option and I use up the entire first quarter moving the ball trying to score so here I go with Ivory I cannot get anything going it's second and goal and I almost throw an interception so I figure a slant route with Holmes will get me in but no it does not get me in he does not cut up the field and fight for extra yards so I gotta settle for a field goal so here we go, second quarter, 450 left, and it's the first time the Washington Redskins get the ball. Here the guy goes dancing, trying to do a little too much. So it's the first time my defense goes up against this offense, this guy's offense, and uh, here we go. Of course, I know he's gonna do run the triple option a lot, and we're gonna have to stop it. We're gonna have to figure out how to how to account for you know three running back options that he gets to choose. So again, here he decides to take off with RG3, and fortunately for me, he spins out of bounds, and uh, unfortunately he catches me, the safety, playing the outside uh, option, and he hands it off to his running back. So again, he decides to run with RG3, so now I kind of get what he does, you know, he decides to take off a lot, my ball hawk didn't work there, there should have been a pick, and here we go, man, we're doing our thing, he rolls out with RG3. And this is impossible. There's no way. Look at that. Breaks that tackle. And my lineman just sits there. So he gets an extra 20 yards off of breaking that tackle. And again, he runs a triple option play. And he goes in for a touchdown. 7-3. to three. Second quarter, I got a minute and a half. You know, it's time to run the two-minute drill and see if I can do something. So let's see what I can do. Let's see if I can get things going. And uh, hopefully I can get a good return with McKnight. And I do, you know, I get it to the 24-yard line. Better than getting it at the 15. I run up the middle with Ivory. We're not doing bad, not too bad. So, you know, I know I can move the ball on the dude. I know I can move the ball, and I know I have the option to run with Smith. So, fortunately, here goes Ivory, you know, catching the ball in front of the lineman, and the guy accidentally pushes square to tackle me. And I decide to keep it with Geno Smith here and run for a good 50 yards. Unfortunately, he gets sucked up from behind. Geno Smith is, isn't bad, though. You know, he's got a 82 to 86 speed rating on his depth chart. So, it's not bad. But you know what? It's not Jen. It's not one of my games if I don't throw an interception. You guys just saw me throw a back shoulder throw, an interception, and now he's got the ball. So, I ruined my chance. I completely mess up my chance to catch up and actually take the lead. And now, if you don't score a touchdown within the first half, you kind of lose all momentum and you can't get anything going. Can I get that pick, though? That would have been pick six right there. Obviously, Madden does not want me to win the game. And, uh, you know, I do not get that interception earlier. Second quarter, five seconds left. And the guy's just trying to chunk the balls up there and try to make something happen, you know. And here we go. We see the screen. And, you know, I was playing prevent defense. That's why he, lo he looks all fancy doing all this dibble-dabble twinkle toe stuff but you know the beginning of the second half third quarter here he goes and you know it's my defense it's up to me to stop him I'm still in the game three to seven against the Washington Redskins we're not doing bad I'm not gonna say that the Jets defense is bad but the, my, the line was horrible the line going up against 
the Washington Redskins, the New York Jets Lions just could not hold its own. It could not get a push. It could not get in the backfield. Uh, I could not do anything. So it's third and 14. We got to get a stop here. We got to get a stop. And again, the DB just cannot keep up with, with his receiver. And there goes Morris once again. I think that's I think that's Alfred Morris. I'm not sure. But I think that's Morris as the Washington Redskins halfback. And he's just trucking everybody. And here I go. Let me show you guys. This is impossible. This up and coming play. I'm going to replay this for you guys. This is impossible. Here. Give me one moment. And I'll show you guys. Here he goes. He gets me with the screen. Third quarter. Minute 20 left. And he scores. But here in a future drive. You guys will see what I mean by it is impossible what this guy does. And I'm just kind of like, ah, whatever, man. I kind of, you know, in the end, I kind of just give up. I concede in defeat because I know when, a, you know, when a game is going my way and I know when it's not. You know, I, I understand that I lost the game. I didn't play good enough to beat my opponent. And uh, there I go. I fumble with Ivory. Fortunately for me, the booth, uh, you know, challenges that. And it indeed was not a, you know, it wasn't a fumble. So here we go, man. Third and one. I don't get it. Fourth and one. And check out this pass interference. Look at that. Pass interference. But I do not get the call. I know I'm, I'm losing hope. You know, I'm kind of losing hope. And this is impossible right here. Let me show you guys. Right here, Alfred Morris goes up the middle. Here he goes. He tries to run. Look at this. How can Alfred, how could Morris break all those tackles? He's got an entire Jets defense all around him. And he scores a touchdown. That sealed the game. I was done. I was hectic. I was pissed off. I was like, how the, you know, I was just screaming obscene things. Like, how the hell does that happen? There's no way. Madden doesn't want me to game, to win the game. It was impossible. It was, it, there's no way that a running back should be able to do that. Let me go back and show you guys that last play from earlier. Now, this is, I'm just going to rewind back here and show you guys. There's no way. Check this out. This is a replay from earlier in the game. Look at Morris, look at the running back, breaking that tackle. We got someone behind him. There is no way he should not be tackled right there. That pissed me off. I was off. I was done. I was I was on the verge of rage quitting. Not because I was losing bad, because this isn't a bad loss, you know. I, I'll take any L that I deserve. But when I see when I see plays like that and I see things that are physically impossible in real life and of course I know it's a video game but I'm saying when I see things that are like that I just get frustrated I just get mad I was just done with the game you know I, I kept calling blitzes I uh you know on defense here I go fourth quarter three minutes left and I just start calling uh you know I just start using game flow plays you know I don't like using game flow I don't like the computer calling plays for me and uh, but here towards the end of the game I just use all game flow plays I didn't care. I didn't. I didn't care to win. I didn't care to keep trying. I was just like, the game's over. Let's just throw things up there. Let's see what we can do. And uh, here I go with Geno Smith. Fortunately, I take a run with Goodson, and I get them off balance. And here, I see Cumberland X down the middle. The safety wasn't over the top, and I get a touchdown. But I'm still pissed off. I'm still upset. And I'm, I just go for the two-point conversion. I could care less if I was gonna win this game. You know, I was just playing up until the final whistle. And when I saw that he got the onside recovery kick, I'm like, that's game. I concede. Morris shouldn't have been able to break the entire Jets defense. I'm out.